Yep. Both of them have a gearbox. This doesn't have any of those. So I've got to line this up mechanically. So I've got a mark here on the chuck that I bring to a setting. This is a uh, old school. The other thing I got is a hard stop here that I bring it back to my hard stop and I engage it. I already got it fed in. I turn it on. You know the old punch mechanism. And now it's running. And if I did it right, it's gonna engage. I'm always ready in case I did it wrong. Oh, it should bread. engage. And I think we're right on. And we're taking a cut. So what do you take? Five or ten thousand at a time? Five. Five thousand. One is for show, so I want this thread to last all day long. This is uh this is the way they did it back in the good old Plus, days. I've got a lot of breakage on the tip of the tool here. I think this just things aren't as rigid. It's an old machine. Yeah, I'm sure it has done lots of work. Yeah. Those out of the 1870s. This uh, lathe? Your fate your uh, four jaw chuck is big enough. Oh yeah. yeah no lie. <laughs> we like them big. That's the thing about all this old stuff. It was yeah. all big and heavy. Yeah. And Lose that's a piece why of the belt. Are here. <laughs> when you want to change it, you just bring it over and grab it, pull it, move it, and put another one in. So they had, you'll notice, where are they? So you, you had to... No, oh, we took it off. In case your piece is too big, you use your jib crane to get it in and out, huh? Well, they did things long. Did a lot of pipe in here. Okay, I'm getting close to the end of my thread. So that's why I got the groove there, so I don't have that. You got that to, uh, relief right? groove there, huh? Yeah. The only cheating I'm doing is I'm using the little dial here. Because there's no dials on this machine. So I don't know how they did it in the old days. You said this is 1870s? Yeah, 1870s. And they didn't have electricity. Can you imagine on a day like today, no electricity in here, trying to run this machine? I know it. It's a little bit chilly. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they used to have 55-gallon drums around here, and they'd actually have fires in here. So they'd light off this old wood. Oh, yeah. So, What's, they had the lanterns, what we need today. <laughs> All right. That's why you have all the lights. It all helps.